Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Nah. Rest in 101, class is in session Pay attention to the teachings, that's from Andrew and Derek I mean these guys making the killing with no competition Dynamic duo better than the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys Everybody make some noise, mess with them, you get destroyed They cannot be beat, take a seat, watch them do they thing on the MIC Face defeat, they cannot be seen like JC Oh my goodness, it's in killing spree, yeah? listening to wrestling iq 101 hey everyone this is andrew from wrestling iq 101 when i'm not hosting our podcast i'm usually at collar and elbow brand.com that's right collar and elbow is the only place that combines wrestling with street attire and i know what you're thinking i want to look fashionable too and i also want to save 10 percent. so head over to collar and elbow brand.com and use the promo code wiq 101 and look fashionable and save some money and now on with the hey guys, show. this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. If you want to listen to us, you can listen to us right here on YouTube or on iTunes. You can follow us on social media at Wrestling IQ 101. That's Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And let's go to the interview. Hey guys, I'm sitting here with Teddy Hartman. How's it going? Uh, I'm beaten up. I'm tired, but uh, I chose this sport a long time ago, knowing the consequences and uh, the wear and tear it takes on your body. And I know football is pretty crazy, and rugby, I know it's rough. And uh, hockey, I see guys with no teeth, but yeah. they, are, they all have equipment. And uh, apart from rugby players, obviously, but some of the toughest guys in the world are athletes. And uh, we get to live on something called people's adrenaline and their uh, smiles and their claps and their time, energy, and effort spent on getting to the building and filling a stadium up or a building up or a lodge up. Wherever we get to perform uh, this great sport, my family's died for this sport, and uh, still proud to see him a professional wrestler. It's a frustrating mission, and uh, trying to figure out the puzzle pieces to get to the next level. But I think still, uh, as an independent wrestling king, not too many guys have been able to come in the ring and dethrone me. And uh, getting out of jail, you sure appreciate. While you're sitting behind bars, what you what you got to do before you got there, and then getting out, uh, you want to get right back in the ring, and uh, hopefully I haven't missed a step. I thought you were incredible last night, and the last time I saw you was at WrestlePro against uh, Bobby Wayward, right here in this building, man. That was incredible too. I mean, oh, thank you very much. I mean, I don't know how you've done it, man. I've been watching you since early JP, man, and it was awesome now getting to talk to you. So it's kind of surreal. Um, you know, when you walked out a couple weeks ago back here after WrestlePro, you know, did it feel like home compared to Absolutely. tonight? Absolutely. Uh, you know what? There was a lot more fans, and I think those were the fans that JAP had developed, even though they didn't show up tonight. A lot of them didn't show up tonight. There was still uh, there was still some people here, and Sabu had a rule. And basically, there's more than 30 people in a building. You better go out there and uh, risk your life and, and do your shit and uh, get your stuff in and make sure you leave that building uh, with a smile and self, it's self gratification, looking in the mirror and knowing that I tried to give people everything I had and I didn't leave anything in the tank and uh, that I'm still walking around after the show. I'm hurt and I'm beat up as I said, but I'm still alive. I'll drive home and have a hot shower and stretch and do some meditation with my cats since I can't smoke marijuana anymore. I'm, uh, I'm not, not healing as fast. I tell everybody out there if uh, now I realize the benefits of marijuana besides just getting fucked up. And I say this to you guys, it's, uh, it's a great healing plant. I really notice the difference in uh, my healing time. And getting older, obviously, is just something that comes along with being human. So. Yeah, I mean, a few weeks ago, I remember I saw you at GCW, and yeah. you got in the face after Homicide got done that riddle. I mean, why do you guys hate each other so badly? Yeah. Oh, damn. It's, uh, it's one of those things, man. It's a professional respect outside the ring, but when we get in that ring, it's, uh, I think we bring out the best in each other, and uh, just kill or be killed, and never say die. He's, a, he's one of the toughest motherfuckers I ever met, like a little pit bull. And every time you get in the ring with him, you better bring your A-game, because if you don't, he will hand your ass to you. Fake sport, they want to call wrestling fixed or fake or whatever bullshit. Uh, people know what it's about, and I still think it's one of the riskiest sports in the world. And uh, you never know what's going to happen. 
and, and how it's going to happen. And uh, the guys that are out there, all the young kids coming up, I see the improvement and wrestling's evolving. And I hope me and uh, guys like Jack Evans and Red and Sanjay Dutt and AJ Styles and Ricochet and Ruckus, all these guys, innovators that uh, set a measuring stick for all these new guys coming up in the future. You got big boots amazing to red. fill. Yeah, I said Amazing Red. Okay. Right? Yeah. I yeah. Did I say Amazing Red? Yeah, he did say yeah. Amazing Red. Absolutely, yeah. Awesome. Fucking machines. And uh, they still keep going too. And they keep getting better and better. And it's. Uh, it's basically like the torch is being passed to these young guys now, but it's not a torch that's, uh, it's, it's a hot torch that's going to burn the fuck out of your hand. There's a lot of pressure being being a, a professional wrestler now following in their footsteps because I think we took it to the next level. I think we jumped three generations uh, where every 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 generation evolved a certain amount. I think we evolved like three times as much during right. our, our 15 or 20 year uh, our time in the business. So, I mean, I still think I have another 20 years left as long as I can keep, uh, stay safe and uh, keep working great guys it's, it's everyone knows like I say it's your opponent too that makes you look good and take care of each other in there at the same time try to kill each other but do it safely it's a professional sport it's an art and my family for fucking 45 50 years now has been teaching professional wrestling and uh, Homicide's got a great school called The Compound anyone wanting to get into wrestling should, should definitely check that place out it's in uh, Blackwood in New Jersey so Teddy in closing man where can people get you on social media man uh, Twitter this is about the best way of getting a hold of me on social media. Or you can try to Facebook me. Uh, I'm not very good at computers, so I'm trying to learn to be more, I guess, computer friendly in the year 2018. But it's a slow process. Thank you so much for tonight God and for you. every night that I've seen you, man. Thanks, Blue. Thank you. Nice well, thanks again for listening to Wrestling IQ 101. Remember, you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wrestling IQ 101. You can still listen to us on YouTube or on iTunes. And thank you again for taking up the time, and we hope you enjoyed that interview.